I really, 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 really want to get Caesar. I think she looks fantastic. She's mm, daddy. It's king, not queen. So I want daddy Caesar. Subscribe, please. All right, so we have the official banners that has been posted on Hoyaverse official website. This is essentially a recap of the live stream about everything that's going to be happening essentially. Uh, I kind of went over it during the, the live stream itself because I, I looked at it. And essentially here, what I'm interested in is the banner themselves. So the first banner, phase one, is going to be Caesar, who is a defense character, physical. Uh, she works with other characters that can have a, a defensive assist, so look at defensive characters or support characters that tend to have defensive assist, right? It's like if, when you get hit, they can go into the fight to as a reaction, right? So she does not need to be with physical character. She does not need to be with defense character. You can put her with support characters or potentially future characters that are going to get defensive assist from other classes or from members of Sons of Kalidon. That said, we can see here that she is paired up with both Piper and Anton. So, personally speaking, I think this is a little bit underwhelming uh, for me. I think Piper is good here. It's okay here because she's going to be good with physical, obviously. Um, they're both from Sons of Kaidon, so you are going to be able to trigger her core extra ability. And obviously, Piper... Um, with her and Caesar, she has so much ability build up, it's gonna be very good. Personally, I have Jane, so I'd rather use Jane, so I don't really care about Piper. I just, I do want to get her because that's the only A rank characters I don't have yet. Now for Anton, um, Anton himself, I already have C6 personally, uh, but he is a weird DPS. He is a DPS that deals like extra damage when enemies are in anomaly state. And then he does like a lot of um, just electric damage. I think the problem here in this banner specifically is that this is this looks like a team, right? This looks like an anomaly team. You have your two anomaly characters with those two here with Piper and Anton. And you have Caesar like supporting them. I think the problem here is that Anton and Piper both want a certain amount of, of field time, right? Um, which is kind of counterintuitive. So I guess the idea here is that you have Caesar as a defensive support, and then you play either of those as a main anomaly DPS, and then you can have like Lucy or another anomaly as a uh, support in the team. But the battle itself, I think it's a bit eh. I would have rather preferred if like Lucy was on this banner, or someone that would work a bit better with Piper. Um, I'm not too sure whom. Just like maybe a, a full stun character or like if we had even, well, MP just ran. So I guess we don't have that many choices when it comes to stun. We are kind of limited in terms of a ring characters right now. So I guess this is okay. But I feel like Anton has been like everywhere lately. So I don't really like him. But uh, yeah, I think it's okay in general. Maybe it would have been nice to see Ben Bigger for those like, they tend to give you an alternative if you don't get the 5-star character. So here, if you're pulling for Caesar and you don't get her, it would be nice to have Ben Beaker at least, so you can still get, like, a defensive character. Especially with the new defense uh, drive days coming up, that's gonna, like, potentially increase the value of those characters specifically, right? Especially Ben Beaker, he gives some crit rate with his shield. So if his shield is stronger, he's gonna have that much value, especially with the 15% damage increase from the 4-piece set, right? Um, so it would have been nice. I would have preferred that. But Anton, eh, whatever. It's, it's fine. Uh, so obviously, in terms of weapon, we are getting all of the signature. We don't have the information regarding Tusk of Fury yet. But yeah, if you don't have any of the four-star signature, do pick them up. They're generally the best in slots uh, from A ranks, obviously. And here, Tusk of Fury, I mean, I assume that's going to increase your ability to um, buffer teammates, right? So now moving on to the phase two banner. We obviously have Bernie's fire anomaly character. She's the first fire anomaly. Uh, we're still missing some elements, but she is definitely going to be a good one. She seems to be the first 
um, proper... I mean, not really, because we also have Lucy as a sub-DPS that can deal off-field damage, right? But Burn is an addition, and I suspect that Burnies and Lucy are going to work very well together, because the amount of anomaly build-up they can do off-field is going to be actually kind of crazy when you consider the Boars and Burnies together with the afterburn that she does. So I think we have the potential for a very strong anomaly team like that. And now we have the four stars, the A rank, and we do have Lucy. So I think this is a very, very good banner. If you like Bernice, I think pulling here is actually going to be fantastic. Both because Lucy is going to be insanely good with Bernice, in my opinion, because of what I just said. And Nicole is a top tier support. In my opinion, Nicole might be one of the best supports in the game. And definitely one of the most uh, versatile because the defense shred she does can be applied to any teams, right? Meanwhile, a character like Sukaku only buffs, you know, uh, like Ellen, for example, right? Meanwhile, Nicole is just that good. She has some grouping ability. And I think this banner is absolutely top tier. Like here, the A rank, yeah, they can make sense as they're a couple with Caesar. But I would not pull for this banner for the A ranks, right? Meanwhile, here, if you're pulling here, regardless of what happened, even if you don't get Bernice, those A ranks are so good that you're getting value um, out of this banner 100% sure. Obviously, we're going to have the weapons, and they're pretty good. Uh, the Kaboom the Cannon is going to be very nice for her off-field damage and all that good good. It's going to be buffing her boars, and uh, the vault is also pretty the nice. So overall, I think the winner here, if we had to pick, I would say that the second banner is actually going to be more interesting in terms of what it's going to bring to your account because those A rank has just trade up insanely good. Meanwhile, here, I think Anton is a bit too niche uh, for what he does. He's kind of, I think the problem with Anton is that he has that um, split scaling essentially because he wants some anomaly. Uh, proficiency in mastery, but also want some crit rates, which is kind of weird. Um, and Piper, uh, I mean, Piper is okay. If you didn't get Jane, she's going to be good for you, right? Potentially, if you do want to run her as an anomaly, she, her buildup is insane. It's super, super fast. Um, I think she might be better than Nekomata to some extent. Um, and here, Caesar, yeah, she's, she's going to be great. But in terms of value, this one is going to be the one. Bernice as an anomaly character. Anomaly right now is pretty on top because Jane is so good. Seth just came out. is a support that buffs anomaly, right? Well, a defense character. And so having Bernice here, if you did get Jane, running something like Bernice and Jane together is going to be supremely good. And um, otherwise, I could see just her working with a lot of teams. I could see even her working outside of uh, anomaly teams just because of the amount of... Um, just damage you're gonna be bringing to the table. Even if she's the only one doing Anomaly, I think it's still gonna be good because the burn is pretty strong. Um, so you can probably just have her in your team with, you know, just a, a, a fine DPS. Like, if you run Bernice and Lucy, those two together are gonna be causing some Anomaly off field. And um, Lucy is gonna buff your attack like crazy for your main DPS, right? So, um... Yeah, this is gonna be pretty good. Nicole is just gonna be useful. If you have Julianne, she's like a, a must pull. I know she's free to play, you get one copy for free, but getting constellations is absolutely fantastic for her. So uh, yeah, overall, I think the second banner is better. Personally speaking, if you want to my opinion as to what I'm gonna be going with, I really, 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 really want to get Caesar. I think she looks fantastic. She's mm, daddy. It's king, not queen. So I want Daddy Caesar. Um, Bernice, I think I want her four stars more. I want I, I got Lucy C5. Um, I was talking about it earlier, right? My Lucy is C5, but we're getting a free copy from... Um, we are getting a free copy from the events. And my Nicole is C6 already. So while this banner on paper is very, very good for the A ranks, I already am going to have my A ranks maxed out. So maybe I'll pull a little bit, see if I can get an early Bernice. But unfortunately, I'm kind of dry. Unfortunately, Jane 
or fortunately sucked me dry. I am empty. So if I can't get Bernice, it is what it is. Maybe I'll try to grab her on a rerun or something. But yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a good patch. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you're going to be pulling for. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.